All right, so this is uh, part three of our little uh, stream video. We weren't able to get any fish today. <clears throat> it's probably uh, water's probably a little too cold, and it has been kind of slow in the stream lately over the last couple of years. So we'll have to see how it goes. But we'll come back here again and. Uh, We'll try again. We're going to head out get, and go on the, uh, get to the main trail here. Just to wrap this up, go out on the main trail. Maybe look around for some deer on our way out. Let's see how we're doing here. Just trying to get this, uh, get this thing balanced. As it kept telling me it wasn't balanced, but I actually moved move the the mount in the wrong direction. I meant to move it to the left because I have a, a lanyard hanging on that side, but it's not giving me any more warnings, so. We're just going to roll with it for now. Some deep, some deep deer tracks. So the deer did end up coming back, back in here. Because I saw that trail up around the bend here. And I thought it ended, but there's some tracks back here too. So maybe they went off into this, into the uh, the prairie grass in here, came back in. There's some trails, kind of a trail here. I don't know if it's people, people or deer. And then the main trails right up there. I don't know, I might try having them move this mount further. Let's see. If it's hanging down to the right, do I want to move the mount to the right to compensate? Yeah, that's why, and that's what I did, but it didn't, uh, it still seems to be leaning a bit. So I'll have to try and maybe next time I'll try moving a little more to the right and see if see if it lines up better. There's a guy and his dog over there coming this way on one of the side trails. Hopefully that thing won't be barking at us. Hopefully he was coming from our right and he didn't spook any deer. That could possibly be. I don't know. Any luck out there? Nah, it's still. Uh, I think the water's still a bit too cold. Too cold, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever caught anything yet? Pretty soon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've caught fish here. Yeah. It seems to be. I moved here. I moved here not too long ago, but I'm not familiar with the water. But I do see a lot of fishermen. Uh, yeah, I mean, people catch a lot of catfish in here, but I mean, I used to catch. Uh, we used to catch a lot of bass. bass? But it's, you know, a lot of these things get fished out through the years. Yeah, that's true, too. That's so. True. So you've noticed that, right? A decrease? Okay, I still haven't had a chance. Stop, like, I still haven't had a chance to come fishing here. All right, buddy, go run. I haven't had a, come on, like, I haven't had a chance to go fishing here yet, but. See how excited he is? But, oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's good water. So it looks clean to me. I mean, it's a muddy bottom, so it's always going to be kind of brown. Uh -huh. So, you know, I mean, any kind of live bait is going to give you a big advantage in here. Yeah, I definitely love so, to use live, live bait. That's the best way to do it. Or something that gives you a lot of action, like a spinner they bait smell it, right? or something. They smell it, they yeah. make a vibration. Yeah, the catfish really and uh, 
We used to get pikes in here too, but I haven't I haven't heard of getting anyone getting a pike out of here recently. I used to live in Skokie, Skokie, Illinois. Oh, yeah. And uh, I've caught a lot of fish in Skokie Lagoon off Willow. I've I've and heard of that. Beautiful. I've I've been there, but I don't know I don't think that I've ever actually fished there. But I heard that was good. I heard yeah. that was good. They like to come up the dam. They like to come up there for oxygen. I would think over there is a good spot too, right? By the waterfall. Yeah, there's a stream in there, so you got that, uh, you know, those kind of ripples in there that fish like. Yeah. But, uh, you know, usually the smaller fish are in there because they haven't made their way into the big lake yet. Yeah, that's where the overcast and you got no bites, huh? No, overcast. yeah, and it's probably a little early. It in is the... cold, you're right. It's been really cold, and the water here freezes. So it kind of spreads out, but I did see a little fish on the other side, and I guess when it does rain, they could be swapping, you know. Oh yeah, From there's definitely yeah, there's definitely fish in here. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I hope I didn't startle you, and I hope you have a nice day. Yeah, you do the same. Thank you. Running behind today a little bit, running late. Yeah, same here. So I don't know if we, well, he's going that way, so we don't want to follow, we don't want to follow him and bother him, so. So here's our deer tracks. They're in there pretty solid, so they're probably, I don't know, maybe from this morning or something. So we got our first stream sniper. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it's a stream sniper. I didn't want to be a degenerate streamer. Tell them to check it out on, on YouTube. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I don't think I'm ready to sell out yet. All right, so we're on the main trail. That's a pretty big dog he had. I don't think that was. Uh, some kind of retriever, maybe, like a golden retriever or lab or something. I don't know if you guys saw it on the camera or not. I really got to do something about this camera sag. Sagging on the right. So I'd want more support on the right. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Unless it just didn't balance. I don't want to have to balance the thing every time I hook it up, though. When I'm out and out and about. Because they're trimming the uh, thicket from the edges here. Another thing you got to watch out for in these woods, when you got these evergreens and pines or, and stuff, is the ticks. If you're going out into these woods, there's going to be ticks. And they just fly out of the tree and land on you. And if you're lucky, You'll, you'll, uh, you'll feel that thing. You can get it off you. So it's a good idea to check. That's another reason why I like wearing a hat a lot. Because that's where they're going to land. It's a good landing spot on top of your head. So hopefully they bounce off it. And they get deflected. But some areas when you get into the real heavy... When you got to walk through a real heavy thicket and uh, trees and stuff, got to watch out for that. Looks like they took down some thicket over here. I'm trying to remember if there was a picnic bench over here, if I could try and balance this thing. I 
because I guess if I leave the uh, if I leave the clamp on there after I balance it, then it should technically still be balanced. But I took it off to mount it on the other selfie stick. The tripod might be way to go next time so I can leave it on here. So not much going on here. But I have seen a deer pop out like right at the beginning of this trail section here. Where, where a lot of people start. Right at the beginning here. That's going to be pretty random. Because I think there's other, there's other woods that they go to in this direction. See there's a little nice little opening here. And this looks like a deer trail here because people aren't going to people aren't going to walk in here. So this, I think this is where they pop out. So that's uh, pretty much the end of the trail here. We could go up to the lake. You hear that weird sound on my... Uh, Coming from my shoes, I kind of try to wrap my pants on the bottom so they wouldn't get covered with mud. But it doesn't look too bad today. Looks like I got a little mud on there. We'll just scope out the lake real quick. That guy got over there with his dog already? I guess it's not that far. He just went around that corner. Pretty much ended up right across from me, so. It looks like I'm ahead of him a little bit. But the dog is leading them around so that gives them a handicap a little disadvantage yeah but like I was telling him fishing used to be much better in here you know years ago but the, the eventually gets fished out I don't know how they restock these ponds and stuff if they restock them I have no idea how how that works, but it's pretty slim pickings in a lot of these little lakes and ponds around here. But hopefully we'll uh, we'll get some. Like I said on Friday, that could be our first uh, official fishing stream with the bass boys hopefully they'll uh, they'll get out here not here but somewhere why do I have no zoom my bluetooth's not connected what's What's the deal here?